anything All the things that I have learned Were just lies I overheard And sure, I, I'm kinda smart now But the system set up so that I can't ever really know We, we don't know anything <laughs> So bad, okay, I can do this Hi, my name is Julie Becker you're watching Under the Canvas. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I'm like, what was I saying, you guys? <laughs> Tattooing, I started when I was 19, in 1997. So I've been doing it for about 21 years. I worked in a few tattoo shops and then I found that I was kind of better suited to work by myself. And then, yeah, I tried to create my own sort of private setting wherever I was living. I just kind of made my own studio and um, that was going to be the best way for me to do my best work. I love tattooing in New York. I love tattooing in, uh, in Spain. I love tattooing. I've tattooed in Costa Rica, in Nicaragua. There's still a lot of places I would like to tattoo, but I'm not an extremely, you know, successful tattooer by any means either. It's just, I'm just happy to be doing it and meet, be meeting the people that I get to meet because they're always really cool individuals. When you start down a path of tattooing, which for me was color, you know, you kind of get excluded from certain things unless you're really heavily screaming that you need to do it. I wanted to do more portraits, so yeah, I figured I might as well tattoo them on myself if I'm going to show someone what I'm interested in and kind of assure them that I do have the experience to do it. It's just that I was more afraid and I thought, oh, I'll just send this person who's good at it and that person who's good at it and I'll never really do it. If I was going to prove it to anybody that I could do it, it had to be to myself. It didn't need to be to anyone else, so I started on myself. Like, I thought I would do a lot of it a lot better than I did and I was disappointed because I didn't live up to my own expectations and then I had to like let people see that and judge it and then you have to live with you know every result of what you're trying to accomplish whether it's for good or bad that's the whole point of it is that it's not about being perfect it's about getting better and I learned I'm not as tough as I think I am I'm not as fragile as I think I am when I was working six days a week I would say my chronic pain was at its height and the only way for me to rehabilitate myself um, was absolutely to slow down and because I had kind of undiagnosed scoliosis and just really bad posture and a lot of really um, kind of dysfunctional artist behavior, hunching in the bed and drawing, you know, in a ball and all the things that we did when we were kids that we didn't grow out of, at least in my case. When I first... Uh, kind of took a break from tattooing it was very traumatic because you feel as if uh it's something you have to just walk away from or you won't ever be able to do it again and I really dove into tattooing and gave it 100 percent for as long as I could I'm learning how to freely physically express myself without judging myself and I think that's a big part of uh where chronic pain comes from is just uh large personalities trying to fit themselves in tiny constrained packages and ways of functioning um, that's debilitating to us in the end uh, letting our our freak flag flags fly in that sense where you know we're we're not restraining our physical capabilities I named my airstream Frida Kahlo because uh, you know she's a, an artist who suffered and was in a lot of pain and still managed to create. You're hoping that you can uh, get to a place where you can heal and you can come back to it, but you have to be willing to sacrifice it in order to, you know, be your best self. And to me, it was worth it, but it was really challenging, and I had to understand that as an artist, it wasn't all that I was capable of, and it didn't define me as an artist. It just was something I was you know, passionate about and I needed to just shift gears and focus on something else I was passionate about, which is, you know, a really long list of things. And that in and of itself became a whole new set of challenges. Like, 
how do I narrow it down? Because if I can do more than this, I can do many, many things I enjoy. So um, sometimes as an artist, your choices are what overwhelm you and keep you stagnant and, and unmotivated because you just, you can't decide. It's really challenging. I was just starting out, there's no way I could be, you know, pursuing painting and beading and, you know, fashion or any other endeavors. Otherwise, I'd be compromising my chances of being a tattooer. You know, if you're passionate about it and you want to do it every day, you will. If you don't take it seriously or you want it to be just a hobby or something you do in addition to this or that, um, you're probably not going to succeed. But yeah, you, you really do have to take it 100% serious because if the competition was steep 20 years ago, shit, it's fucking amazing now.